All right, space, the final commercial frontier. NASA is taking heat for gambling on small commercial firms to take over some space work. In particular, it's given a contract to a rocket company founded by an internet pioneer. Jane Wells sat down with the pioneer and joins us live from Los Angeles with more. Jane. Hi, Melissa. Elon Musk built a rocket company with a Silicon Valley culture. Now his rocket is on a launch pad and the pressure is on. SpaceX is go for launch. This animation represents the new NASA, though the old guard doesn't like it. It's the right thing to do, but it's, it's a tough one. Elon Musk made his fortune selling PayPal and has plowed those profits into new enterprises like SpaceX, a rocket company which landed a $1.6 billion contract from NASA to shuttle cargo and maybe even astronauts inside this capsule to the International Space Station. SpaceX promises 10 times the reliability at one-tenth the cost of the shuttle. We have this it's already launched smaller rockets, but now one destined for NASA sits on a launch pad at Cape Canaveral for testing. SpaceX's success represents a failure for companies which have long worked with NASA and had their own plans to replace the shuttle. Innovation it tends to be caused by new entrants to a field. When there aren't new entrants to a field, innovation tends to really grind to a halt. Musk says the company's been profitable for three years with 30 contracts in hand. But this week, NASA was criticized for giving such important work to small, untried players. Boeing at some point was untried, Lockheed was untried, Airbus was untried at some point. So obviously there has to be some process for, for getting tried. There is tremendous pressure on you. Many want you to fail, many want you to succeed. Uh, how do you feel about that? Uh, it, it is a lot of pressure um, and um, it, it's, it is tough to take sometimes, I have to say. It is not, not an easy thing. Confirm. Docking is complete. The Falcon 9 rocket should launch in the next couple of months, but it's not all victories. SpaceX just lost a challenge to the GAO for a lunar orbiter contract NASA awarded to a different smaller firm, Orbital Sciences. And an update on Musk's other company, Tesla Motors. Three engineers were killed in a plane crash last week. Musk tells me Tesla is moving forward. It earlier filed for an IPO. And he is dedicating, Melissa, the Model S program to the memories of those who died. Wow. All right, Jane, let me ask you really quickly about the spacecraft that we saw. I mean, the essential question, is it safe? Well, we'll find out. He says that this uh, Dragon capsule has a safety mechanism not seen on the shuttle or even in the Apollo missions where it can escape. Uh, it has engines attached to the capsule tied into the main fuel tank so it doesn't need separate fuel. And it can escape all the way up to orbit which is something that not even Apollo could do. And there is no escape mechanism, of course, for the shuttle. Okay. Interesting. Fascinating stuff. Thanks so much, Jane.